Hello, good afternoon. My name is Casper. Today I'm going to be talking about the Skilled Worker Labor Arbitrage platform uh, with an interview engine. So, uh, uh, my partner and I, um, well, I would actually like to call him my boss, his name is Martin. Uh, we've been running a job board app called Opportunity.to for uh, the past two years. And um, if you have any questions about that, you can always send us an email at info at opportunity.to. Oh, and just on the fly here, I guess I have to change the screen settings. Let me let me take a look at the terminal here. Just a moment. Let's see if that works a little bit better. No, that's not that's not good. Maybe I'll turn this into a four. All right, very good. And I'll make that full screen. All right. So you can always send an email at uh, info at uh, this way. Info at opportunity.to. And so we've been running this job board app for a number of years. And uh, we've gotten pretty good at figuring out what employers are posting, uh, what kind of semantics, um, how they structure resumes, uh, what kind of resumes do employers, I mean a employees typically respond to, um, the volume of uh, people of certain competencies, um, how to attract um, more, how to attract um, more qualified and better parties, so uh, people, potential hires than you normally would. You know, there's a lot of, um, you know, public data about that. Um, and there's also a lot of services that help, but uh, we ourselves, we've also found out uh, a lot of these things and we've learned from um, other businesses. So we've taken, we've ag aggregated a lot of that knowledge and um, what we're trying to figure out now is taking uh, jobs that you normally find um, maybe because we're from Canada uh, normally you'd find in Canada but there may not be enough uh, skilled people and uh, this is one of the largest uh, comments from hiring managers today is that there's not enough qualified people but we're addressing that by taking uh, taking these jobs and trying to seek uh, people overseas who may have uh, the skills appropriate to that position. And of course, um, a lot of this, a lot of these jobs, um, they're very difficult to fill for because countries such as Canada are relatively small. We only have 30 odd million people and, um, and there isn't so much uh, turnover uh, in, reg in regards to employment. Um, now there's a lot of countries with a lot of uh, graduates coming on the pipeline and, and people are not, uh, these graduates are not being appropriately utilized in other countries but they still possess uh, the skills necessary and they may even be more hungry um, than you'll find at home for these jobs and we can offer this service uh, starting at seven thousand Hong Kong dollars per month so it's relatively simple so for example you would have uh, you would have a position for a, a certain hire and you'd be posting it on Deed, Monster, uh, LinkedIn uh, zip recruiter, any of those uh, job boards, or of course, opportunity.to, and um, you you'd start uh, acquiring local uh, candidates. What we're doing is we're expanding that to uh, a worldwide breadth. So to see, let's say for example, a, a single job might have, if you're lucky, 250 applications. Uh, qualified applications. We're trying to expand that 
so you might have uh, thousands. Now, you'll have a opportunity to um, have uh, a digital copy of all the people who are being interviewed, also their resumes, uh, other means of contact, phone number, email. So we're quite transparent, uh, though we will ask for you to subscribe uh, prior to getting this information. A lot of people who have, may have, who may be watching this video are actually curious about why they had uh, found us, reach out to them. This is also because we are marketing these services uh, uh, to, to companies uh, with a, a certain taste test, you know. You give them a little bit of a try, see if it actually has, provide, can provide you some value, uh, if there's tangible results. And, uh, and we think that what we have to offer is going to be very attractive. And, uh, and of course, uh, I myself, I'm uh, originally from uh, British Columbia, Canada, and that's where we had started Opportunity.to, but now I'm physically moved uh, to Hong Kong, and because Hong Kong is an excellent international business center, uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, I'm dedicating resources to this city. Uh, so just some, you know, off the top, uh, off the top of my head, prices, uh, we can offer, like you can imagine these uh, services might just be 900 euros a month for a full-time employee. Uh, you just assume 40 hours a week, uh, five, uh, 40 hours a week, five days a week, Monday to Friday. Uh, typically in other working cultures, most people still work Saturdays. Also, uh, the UK, uh, 800 pounds, uh, USD thousand dollars and of course uh, Canadian dollars uh, 1200 so uh, the reason why uh, the Canadian dollar might be discounted a little bit is simply because we're uh, we're more operationally sophisticated there for the reason that we're uh, based out of Canada now I would like to I would like to talk about this skilled worker labor arbitrage platform now, I, I wouldn't call myself a, uh, a genius in naming products, but, but tangibly this is exactly what we'll do. So, so as an example, I have to blow my nose. I got a, I got a bit of a cold here. Excuse me, I'll just come, go off camera for a moment. Um, so what we're talking about is a skilled worker la labor arbitrage platform. So I wouldn't say I'm a, a genius at naming stuff, but I'm very good at coming up with new ways of companies to be able to reduce expenses. Um, my myself, I, I run a few um, online businesses, and with relatively little uh, effort and which have reoccurring income with the increase of gross revenue. In some businesses I've been able to double year over year uh, of course and no one anyone who says you know for uh, a new startup that is growing you know a thousand percent per year well of course you're starting from zero dollars. You know I have quite mature businesses that are still uh, growing twofold Per year, so uh, you know I, and I've been able to uh, cut down costs and increase profitability. So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about, what it takes uh, to run a business. Now, <clears throat> a lot of positions and companies are relatively expensive. You may find in Hong Kong a. Uh, uh, 
a reasonable candidate may cost in excess of 20,000 Hong Kong dollar as a new new graduate though um, there is a large pool of labor uh, available j just across the border in in China and in fact um, a lot of Hong Kong businesses have been uh, benefiting from this uh, component of labor arbitrage though it's not that simple anymore because um, the cost of uh, skilled labor in China has gone up and the market for uh, job seekers is absolutely it, it, it's on a tear it's it's never been so good to be Chinese uh, and a, lo a lot of for example in, in Hong Kong companies in finance have found an issue in bringing in high quality Mandarin speaking Cantonese speaking uh, candidates, even with a bit of English. Uh, the reason being is because as soon as a, a potential uh, candidate is identified, a lot of companies uh, jump on the opportunity of hiring that individual. Uh, I've seen with my own eyes, um, you know, relatively modest uh, graduates. Have been able to attain uh, excellent opportunities in in Hong Kong uh, simply because they've graduated here uh, due to the uh, you know the immigration rules. Once you've graduated uh, from a job, I mean, once you've graduated from university in Hong Kong, uh, there is to is to your great benefit because you have access to a lot of high quality jobs and. Uh, just on a side note, uh, Opportunity will be addressing that, and uh, it's, it's it's a whole other discussion. Maybe I'll, I'll save it for another week. But now we all know that um, to hire somebody within our own companies, uh, it's actually it's a bit difficult. First of all, we have to onboard them, we have to train them, and there's relatively uh, a large amount of dollar investment into that new hire, uh, you know, for the administration, clerical, uh, HR uh, related things, also the time invested in getting the person, uh, insurance, uh, employment insurance, there's so many components. Uh, that that really before you've even hired somebody they might uh, have taken up you know two months of their salary and once they are in the company their their value may be under that of what you pay them but you hope and expect that they'll provide you in excess of that value in the future of course if you have good retention tactics now if this all being said what if you could find candidates who were potentially more competent and hopefully so and you can get them at a lower cost now this is just basic capitalism right it's arbitrage buy low sell high acquire low uh, you know price high and uh, in, the, in the same respect when it comes to employment we're now in a global economy we have to compete uh, and a lot of people have found uh, their jobs in the West being outsourced and we all know this and we can also agree that a lot of these positions are uh, being outsourced and inferior work is being done so I'm also aware of this argument though there are some opportune moments where in fact outsourcing could provide greater value at a lower cost so I mean greater competence and production at a lower cost and it's not it's not unrealistic that this is possible because human beings are human beings no matter where they are in the world and competence is that of which somebody was uh, 
maybe they have an innate ability, maybe they're educated in a certain way, or maybe they have a natural talent, and of course, uh, a desire and a will, a willing to learn, and actually just extra effort, right? They work harder, and to to be so confident as to say that you could exclusively point to a single individual and say, this is the best hire, may be a little bit naive. And what, what uh, a lot of hiring managers do and a lot of recruiters, they, they point at the recruit, uh, the recruit they've, they've found, and it's the one with the lo uh, lowest margin of risk for their own uh, function as a recruiter or a hiring manager. So they're not taking any risk. Um, they've been assigned a budget, right? The individual must cost so-and-so, and they take the, the lowest risk. Though, when it comes to profitability of business, these avant-garde ideas of going to a whole different country or going across the world seems a little bit, uh, you know, fanfare and uh, exaggerated. But think about it for a moment, right? If you're if you're spending, let's say, uh, thirty-six thousand U.S. dollars a year. But you're able to acquire higher quality labor at ten thousand U.S. dollars. You know you've you haven't just reduced your costs by a factor of three um, or three and a half or three point six. You've actually reduced your costs substantially because you've you have less uh, you have less. Uh, how shall I say this? It's you have less overhead and less managerial responsibility in regards to uh, caring for that person physically uh, in your office, and that person will arrange themselves in respect to the compensation that you pay them. And typically, they're compensated in a greater amount, so that when they actually are doing the job, they'll do it uh, with more concern and dedication. If they're, of course, the right candidate, but that's where the that's where our interview agent comes in. Uh, we're not going to forego the ability of hiring managers within an organization. Absolutely not. But what we are going to do is we're going to help those hiring managers be able to go to their their bosses or the CEOs and present them with uh, a potential of instead of just hiring a single candidate that maybe they can benefit by having uh, a single hire in one department and another hire. Uh, reflective uh, in, a, in another department to create a greater balance or to be able to uh, you know to scale uh, there's there's so many different strategies but if if your business is not if your business is having uh, trouble with money like almost every single business if you don't take care of your money your money will take care of you well that's not a very good quote if you don't take care of your money, well, your money will leave you, basically, right? So it's really important that we focus on that bottom line, right? Now, we should all, whenever you look at a, uh, whenever you look at a, uh, an income report, what's the first line? The first line is sales, right? You know, uh, and the second thing is, a, uh, sales uh, usually they have assets underneath that but then you have uh, expenses so it's more or less a third uh, third most important thing but 
if, if you're able to substantially reduce expenses, it can have a massive effect on your top line. And that's really important for all of us to really consider that. That something so simple as being able to reduce our expenses can really help our, our business make more money. And then we can be more creative. Maybe we can expand. Maybe we can open up a second office. Uh, maybe we can reduce our costs to provide more value to our customer. Uh, maybe we can hire more uh, sales individuals. Maybe we can be. Uh, maybe we can invest uh, into training our employees more. Uh, maybe we can give bigger dividends to the investors. Whatever, right? So when you have more money in the business, the greater and better things you can do. You know, uh, take Apple for example. I mean, they they can afford themselves to make mistakes now. They usually. They don't make very many mistakes, but they can afford themselves to make mistakes probably for the next 20 years. Why? Because they just put this big mound of money, right? And they don't burn through very much. They're quite conservative. So they, they, pay, they pay well. They, they try to take care of the environment for their employees. And just think for yourself. If you are able to uh, reduce some tertiary costs, you know, uh, desk space, chairs, internet connection, computer monitor, uh, you just basically have less things to be concerned about, and your ex your expenses are going to be much more simplified. Instead of having, uh, you know, in Canada, for example, be sending out, you know, T fours, or you know, in uh, or in the United States, what are they called? 1040s, right? Uh, also for, uh, well, just basically any, any country, you don't have to report to the government an extra employee. It just, it, it simplifies a lot of things, right? And so I would really, I'd really like you to take a look at what we have to offer. It's info at opportunity.to. And this is a this is a this is not outsourcing. This is acquiring employees at a reduced cost. It's it's a skilled worker labor arbitrage plot platform. It is not outsourcing. It's a we've it's a little bit of a twist of what we're uh, offering, okay? So again, uh, info at opportunity.to and uh, of course, uh, if you have any questions uh, outside of this product, 